Yasas from the moon-like dreamy island of Milos, Greece. We've already been in the country for three weeks now, starting in Athens with an epic Greek food tour before we went up to Meteora to visit the mountains and the monasteries. And since then, we've been island hopping, starting with Crete and then over to Santorini, and now we are here on Milos. So now you are all caught up on what all we've been doing in the country. And I believe today we are going to go and pick up a moped because the last time we had one up in Meteora, we had so much fun. So I think we're gonna write one for the day and tour the island. After walking around and checking out a lot of different moped shops, we realized that our international driver's license didn't align with many of the rules that they have for the mopeds. So we decided to get ourselves an ATV instead. A flashback to Cappadocia when we had one. I think this will actually be even more convenient because there's this massive trunk where we can put all of our gear, all of our stuff. So I think it's a good decision. Chad usually takes the vehicle out for a little ride before his dear wife hops on. But today he says that I should go right on with him. All right, well, you sure you don't want to go down the street? The island of Milos is becoming more and more popular amongst the American tourists. And I do believe I know the reason why. There are pictures of the beach we are currently at, which is called Serkaniko, flooding social media. It is so picturesque. It's basically the moon if it had a seaside paradise. So who wouldn't want to come here? And we were actually talking to a local over on Santorini Island saying that this island, Milos, is also a creation of a volcanic eruption. But instead of having black and red sand beaches, you have these beautiful white cliffs and it's just a huge difference from what we saw over in Santorini but it was created off of the same natural phenomenon so that's pretty cool I think we're gonna have a fun little beach day uh, maybe we'll do some cliff jumping probably not I'm not a huge fan of the feeling of falling several several feet down so we'll see we'll see Normally, I have to spend lots of time convincing Chad to jump in the water with me, but Chad's bladder this morning is full past the brim and he needs to go. And, and that is the only place to go. Yep, I truly do not want to get in the water right now, but it's one way to wake up. It is so creepy. Swimming in the darkness underneath this cave. I keep thinking that there's gonna be a monster that like grabs my foot. So because we could not fit two pairs of flippers, we are sharing one pair. So I got to use them on the way here to this choppy rock. And now Claire is wearing them. After spending about 10 minutes trying to get on shore, we have made it on shore and I'm sitting on a thousand very sharp barnacles that are piercing my butt. I think we're going to go and explore one more cave before we maybe move to a different swimming spot. But my goodness, the waters are choppy. I can like barely stand in there. I'm like being pushed in every direction. I have been telling Claire this entire time that we each should get one fin. That way we're, you know, equal. Why not have one person be able to really enjoy their time and swim and one person suffer? I Said think it's we better both. we both equally suffer and benefit. <laughs> I have chosen the left foot in hopes of making my left leg stronger. Wait, I, I should, don't know. I should be putting on my right foot then. Just work both legs. <laughs> I'm literally about to drown from laughing. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is the dumbest thing I've ever done. The one thing. <laughs> Alright, caves are too... <laughs> caves are too scary! <laughs> the caves are way too scary, especially when you're looking under the water. Above the water, they're already... Alright, I gotta stop talking, you got more to... Quit kicking me with the freaking fin! What a wildly eventful morning. Something I learned is that you cannot laugh when you have a snorkel mask on. Because water will just 
you will drown. <laughs> I've never tried so hard to not laugh in my entire life. We are back at our ATV. She is as blue as the waters here. Today for lunch, we are dining at Chad and Claire's restaurant, as in we will be the chefs this afternoon. We've got some groceries, and we actually haven't done a cooking montage in quite some time, and Chad is starving, so let's get on with it. enough to wash the dishes after lunch and we are now heading over to Firi Plaka Beach which is going to be our second beach of the day. Safety first! I've never seen a beach that has a whole rainbow on the mountainside. It literally looks like Death Valley on the coast. I was mind blown. And so we are now enjoying the beach. And I don't know if you've noticed, but we've been using our gravel travel blankets like crazy ever since we've been in Turkey all the way over to Greece. And originally we started using them on overnight trains, buses, planes any transportation you can name. But ever since we got to Greece, we've been using them at the beach because they're more lightweight, they're quicker to dry, and we just lay them on the sand and we've got ourselves a very soft place to sit. Literally feels like you're laying on a nice sleeping bag right on the beach. What could be better? Because they're a smaller company, we really do like supporting them. So with all of that said, if you're interested, we have a link down in the description box as well as a 10% off coupon code. So you guys can check that out. But I think we're gonna go swim now. As you can see, it is a very wavy day, so I don't think we're going to be doing much swimming. Maybe more wave hopping. <laughs> I used to do that all the time as a kid. It's really fun. So let's go jump some waves, Chad. Baca Beach. It has been so much fun here. Very colorful. Claire was probably swimming in the water for over an hour just jumping over waves. It's very, very fun. <laughs> but I've worked up quite the appetite. Yes. I think we have one more stop we have to go to before dinner. So let's get going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tonight we have the most perfect of weather. There's no wind and I can just hear the birds chirping all around us and the sky is already turning the most beautiful of colors. Tonight we're walking into Plaka which is the capital city of the island and we're gonna go up to the church and watch the sun dip into the horizon. Appetizer. We got some mussels because we're trying to take advantage of the seafood while we're still in Greece. I'm gonna miss it a lot. Apparently if you eat a fish from the Tennessee River, it is 
No good. The delicious moussaka. This is something that I actually talked about in our very first Greece video, the food tour video. And it's basically an eggplant and mincemeat casserole. I won't go too in detail about it because I want to talk about something that we actually haven't tried yet. This is lamb kleptiko and it is lamb meat that has been sealed in parchment paper and cooked for several, several hours until it is tender and delicious. And it looks like there's some potatoes in there, all sorts of herbs and spices very fragrant. Let's dig in. We were on the hunt for an ornament, but sadly we could not find anything that was hangable. So we were heading back to the ATV and I think we're gonna call it somewhat of an early night, right? Well, it's already 10.30. Yeah, I guess it is kind of late. <laughs> we're gonna call it a night. <laughs> The island of Milos feels like it's on the brink of becoming one of the hottest destinations to visit while in Greece. And it still feels just barely like a hidden gem, as in the roads are still rather empty and the beaches are spacious enough that you can really enjoy your time there. And so I just feel like in the next couple of years, it's going to take off. So if you want to experience it in more of a local light, come soon. Um, I think more and more people are going to discover it and really realize how special this island is. But with that, I think we're going to end our Milos video here. If you'd like to follow along on our 50 country goal, um, hit subscribe. We'd love to have you along. If you'd like to see some behind the scenes content, join us over on Patreon. And with that, we will catch you in our last island here in Greece. Bye!